Saved from the depths of development hell, The Red Star for the PlayStation 2 is one of those miraculous titles that mashes two genres together to create an experience that feels lean, mean, and, you know, explosive. Based on the same comic book series of the same name, The Red Star was originally developed and scheduled for release by Acclaim Studios back in 2004. Supposedly, everything seemed ready to go, as a few copies were even sent out to several gaming publications for review. Alas, the game was shelved, and it wouldn't be until two years later that Excess Games would pick up the title, assemble the same few development team members from before, and finish what could have been an entirely lost game. The final product is an action game experience that alternates between old school beat em up and bullet hell shooter, delivering one of the most satisfying action experiences available on the PS2. The two characters available from the get-go are Nikita, a fast on her feet, sci-wielding rebel, and Kuzo, a tank-styled bodyguard whose strength allows him to impale, thrust, and crush his way through a multitude of baddies. The two characters have their own movesets, weapons, specials, and are essentially meant to be played simultaneously with a friend, as the game's two-player co-op mode is where the red star shines best. During the beat-em-up sequences, you'll do a good bit of blocking, comboing, and general ass-kicking. The combat is tight, and the enemy types are varied in a way that'll keep you on your toes. Right when you get a chance to breathe, the game turns from an old-school beat-em-up into a bullet-hell-styled shooter. Do well enough in the levels, and you're given points to upgrade character attributes that can help out in the long run. Switching between the two genres creates both a frenetic and surprisingly balanced experience that's only hindered by a general lack of polish. While the game has a decent learning curve, the second half of the game rides seemingly close to the NES hard games of yesteryear. Not only does the game not provide checkpoints, healing items become less and less available as the game goes on. If you die on the last boss of the level, you'll have to restart the entire level, which will either entice you to try again or snap your controller in half, maybe even both. I can already hear the collective scoffing of gaming masochists out there, but if you plan on taking the game on solo and haven't mastered the likes of Ikaruga on even medium, be prepared to bite down on the coma frustration as some of the later shooting segments become quite tough. In terms of story and presentation, the Red Star is quite bare bones. Fans of the comic are sure to be disappointed as the only story to speak of is told through mission statements before each level. I can't say I'm disappointed, as the Red Star Works is just a purely action-oriented experience. Not only does the game have a fairly long main campaign, but an extra character, arena mode, and higher difficulty is unlocked after beating the game. Action game fans, you'd have to be brain damaged from a real-life explosion not to check out this underrated proximity mine of a gem.